Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy Simpson with Jenkins Diesel Power. We're a Western Star dealer out of Springfield, Missouri. Um, we're here at the Matt Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we brought one of our Western Star trucks in here to show everybody. So uh, we're going to kind of do a little bit of walk around on the truck, um, give you some key components to let you know what's neat about the Western Star truck. Um, first thing about it, it's a hand-built truck right here in the United States. Got to appreciate that. Um, this particular truck model is a 5700 XE. It's, a, uh, it's their first extreme efficiency aerodynamic truck that Western Star has made out. Um, it comes Detroit exclusive. You, it's the only engine you can get in it. You can get a DD13, 15, or a DD16 engine up to 600 horse and 2050 torque. Um, our front axles range from anywhere from 12,000 pounds to 16,000 um, pounds, depending on how heavy you need it. Uh, we'll just kind of start right here on the driver's side corner of the truck. The overall idea of the extreme efficiency truck was the cost effectiveness of the truck. For instance, the headlights. The headlights are a three-piece front headlight. So if you're driving down the road and, and you clip something, you can get just the outer piece of the headlights or the inner piece. It's three different pieces. And the same way with the front bumper, you get your outer fangs, your chrome overlay, and then your center uh, fiberglass piece. So it's a four-piece front bumper, so you don't have to buy, you're not stuck buying a single piece bumper that's $1,500. You know, you can get each individual component, save you a lot of money if you just hit a deer or a dog yeah. or something, you know. They do get hit sometimes. Right. Real stainless steel accents, not plastic with chrome overlay. It's real stainless steel accents. Um, key components on the Detroit engine is... One, the ease of maintenance on a Detroit engine. On the on-highway applications on all three engines, the oil changes are 50,000 mile intervals. Uh, so that puts quite a bit of money back in your pocket. Um, the fuel economy, we have these trucks pulling every single trailer you can think of. Um, and they're good anywhere from seven to nine and a half miles to the gallon, just depending on the driver and the application and what he's doing with the truck. Um, this particular wheel turn situation. It does. The Detroit front axle, we're going to put a Detroit front axle under all of our 5700s because we get a 55 degree turning radius both directions. Really? Right. Yep. That's and the right. And it's got, uh, it was the first one to come out with. It's got better warranties. Doesn't cost you a bit more than any other axles and it turns sharper. So it's just the way to go. It's common wow. sense. Yep. Yep. And you can get, you can even get it. If you go down to a 12.5 front axle, we can even get it with an air ride front axle on the 5700. Uh, but most of the time we'll put a leaf spring under them. It's pretty rare we put an air ride under one. Mm -hmm. If you're equipping it with the ARI sleeper, you just about have to put a heavier front axle on it because yeah. we're building a heavier truck. This is a 24,000 pound truck. Okay. You know. Jesus. Okay. Well, that, make, that makes sense. Now, um, what you were saying with the air ride, I heard with the air ride, I was at a Volvo place and, I, and they said that they were having issues with aligning them. Are we, are, are we to start having issues with that? No, not that I know of. We've not heard any complaints of it at all. Okay. Uh, um, we don't spec a whole lot of them, so um, yeah, it's not an issue that comes up a lot because we just don't see many of them. But I would assume, as, as good a company as Western Star is, if there's a problem, they're going to address it. Yeah, address it yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the Detroit engine warranty. If you buy it with a Detroit, of course, it's the only, the only engine you can get in a 5700, of course. But the Detroit engine warranty, the base warranty, is two-year unlimited mileage warranty on the engine. Everything is bolted to the engine and all of your after treatment system. And then the fuel injectors are two year, 200,000 mile warranty. And the internal lubricated parts, of course, are five year, 500,000. Mm -hmm. um, this truck, we put a DT12 automated shift Detroit transmission in it. Mm -hmm. um, the clutch for that transmission has a three year, 350,000 mile warranty. And the gearbox is a five year, 750,000 mile warranty. Wow. So it's a really good warranty. The truck bumper to bumper, has probably the best warranty on the market, hands down. And what is the, uh, from Ruta to Tuda, what's the uh, wheelbase? Uh, the wheelbase on this exact truck is 322 inches. 322 inches. Yep. Man, that is a, that is a land yacht. And of course, you know, Western Star loves to customize trucks. So two-tone, three-tone, four-tone paint jobs, you know, matte graphics designs on them. Um, about almost anything you can think of. I mean, there are limitations to everything, but um, Western Star has a lot of options for their trucks. About anything you think of. What do these puppies would go for? Um, we sell these trucks with the ARI sleepers on them. We spec a lot of them anywhere from two forty to two hundred eighty thousand. That's the truck with your FET tax. 
already wow. included in there. So okay, well, that's considerably. So I mean, if you the average truck's going to run you about one hundred and sixty, right? You know, you're you're basically because people who do this are living in it, right? They're not just playing weekend warriors, right? Oh yeah, yeah, and they're and they're professionals. They're not hobbyists. A lot of people say, man, that's a hobbyist truck. These believe me, the folks we sell these trucks to are very serious about their business, yeah. and they're they actually they've kind of achieved a level of professionalism that has allowed them to be able to spend this kind of money exactly. on a truck and, and, and have no problems making the payments on it. Yeah, well, you that, know. That, that makes perfect sense. Now, this doesn't have the extend cab like the other one he showed me? Yeah, this one has, um, in front of the 144-inch ARI sleeper, mm -hmm. you have a 34-inch rest cab, and that's Western Star. Um, so this part is ARI, and this part forward is Western Star. So this will have the cherry wood finished Western Star cabinets mm -hmm. on the inside of the truck. And then the rest of the cabinets be ARI and whatever color you decide to make them. Oh, you know. that is fancy. Green inlay, you got the light situation here. Yep. This is nice. Western Stark uh, signature wood grain I see here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Marine, marine grade switches. Western Star has been using those for years and years, and they just, they just don't go bad. Um, another key, uh, yeah, another key component of the Western Star is um, the all galvanized steel cab. This is probably about as safe a cab to get an accident in on, on the market because it's not fiberglass, it's not aluminum, it's galvanized steel, and it will never rust. Believe me, it will never rust. Galvanized. Yep. Wow, that's a word, man. And when you get back here from here on is uh, ARI, you have this, uh, what do they call this ceiling here? Um, well, <laughs> I don't know. That was just kind of our, our touch. Normally we don't put those in there. Um, your vents for your rooftop HVAC are going to be up here. Wow. So um, it's functional. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very functional. Nothing goes to waste when you build an ARI. Everything kind of has a purpose. There's mm -hmm. not, they're not just building a pretty sleeper and with no function to it. There's yeah. a reason they're doing it like that, okay. but they just make it look good when they're doing it. Yeah. Cause they look, they look pretty good. I think they'll call it a vaulted ceiling in the house yep. or something. Yeah. 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 And yeah. You have the cooking area. Yep. Here. Convectional oven. You can cook a whole chicken in there. Um, this one here. Yep. Yep. Oh, it is a double as a microwave as well. It oh. does. Wow. Full refrigerator. Yep. Yeah, you can buy enough food. A team driver can buy enough food to, on the weekends to last all week and put in here. So it saves you a lot of money out on the road. Uh, instead of eating out, you're eating right here in your truck. That is beautiful. And the bed, is, you know, that's a signature ARI. It is. Right it's here. a rear bunk bed. This one's about 56 inches wide. You just move those two back cushions, and mm -hmm. then that bed will fold down. It's a piece of cake. Um, that's actually a little bit bigger bed than we normally spec in them. We kind of customized this sleeper, moved the front, we moved the side door forward, and, and uh, that allowed us to put a bigger bed in the back of it. And, okay, okay. Yeah. And my name is Jeremy Simpson with Jenkins Diesel Power out of Springfield, Missouri. And we're here at the MAP show uh, representing both Western Star and ARI sleepers. And if you're interested in ARI sleeper or Western Star truck, either one, you can look us up, Jenkins Diesel Power at Springfield, Missouri. Uh, we're only one Jenkins Diesel on the face of the planet. So when you find us, you find us. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I'm asking every one of y'all, you know, y'all could always give me one free and I could I could drive it on the road and definitely do the test for you. Absolutely. You know, we, we, boss man that. Yep, I'll, I'll be sure and run that by him when he gets back here. I appreciate that, man. I really do. Yeah. And we're out. <laughs> y'all have a nice day. Please sub and subscribe, like, and y'all can call this number right here. If you just want to see, you may be eligible to get a legacy sleeper and you may not know it. So you call them, talk to somebody, and they'll let you know if it's something you can get. So call this number. Thank you.